Hi Leo, my name is Megan and welcome to your reading for the month of October. Before we get into the cards, I am just going to clear the energy, so please be mindful if you are wearing headphones. Leo, let's see what's going on for you for October. Leo. Great future, great potential, no need to worry, coming soon, dreams come true. Full cauldron, all you can handle, abundance, overflowing, feeling swamped, knowing your limits. Heads up, pay attention, have a premonition, listen carefully, be ready to act. Bare bones, simplify your life, let go of unneeded things, save your money, hold on to essentials. All right, Leo, so this is a month for you guys to simplify your life, let go of anything on your plate that is not needed, and to really focus on your finances this month and save all that you can any way that you can. Only purchase things that are of necessity and really start implementing a savings account this month if you haven't already. Even if you only can save like a couple dollars extra a month, just start doing that. For some reason, Spirit is really wanting you to start implementing a savings account moving forward and to only purchase things that are of a necessity and to, you know, start putting away a nest egg for later. So... Yeah, pay attention to the intuition you're getting regarding anything that spirit brings into your path because there's this energy, you know, with this heads up about pay attention and using your intuition and listening to your higher self and be ready to act. So whatever this energy is, we're going to get more clarity with the tarot, but it's like spirit wants you to start implementing a um, savings and really only buy what's necessary and start changing your spending habits and be ready to act. And then we have with the full cauldron, all you can handle abundance overflow, feeling swamped, know your limits. So I feel by you starting to implement a savings account and putting away, you know, even if you just um, cut out something that you do every month, like getting coffee or eating out, and then you just set up like an automatic transfer from your checking account into your savings account so you don't have to see it. It just automatically transfers every month. I'm feeling like you're going to see this abundance starting to build and you like set it up so you forget it about it. You know, it's like out of sight, out of mind kind of a thing. And if it's already being deducted out of your account and transferred into your savings, it's like you will see your account as a certain set of money, right? And so that's what you're working with because it's like you've already set up that transfer. So it's about you starting to build this abundance and this energy of feeling swamped, know your limits. So it's about taking things off your plate and removing things or duties or tasks, maybe even asking family members or friends or coworkers for help so that you don't feel so burdened this month. Know your limits and don't be, I don't know how else to say it, don't be like a yes man where you tell everybody yes and you deplete your energy. Like know when to say no, you know, if you're getting asked to go do things with friends, know when to say no. If you're getting asked by your boss to do extra work, know when to say no, especially with family or your partner, you know, know your limits and set up boundaries so that you don't deplete your energy. And we have with this bright future card, great potential, no need to worry, coming soon, dreams coming true. So the actions you take, the 
you know, spending habits, the building your abundance here. It's like leading towards your dreams and spirits lining things up for you this month so that things can start shifting and changing in your favor. So let's get energy of the tarot and see what's going on for Leo. Leo, October. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. One, two, three, four, five. Two more. Thank you. All right, Ace of Pentacles, simplify your life, let go of unneeded things, save your money. Yeah, so when you start letting go of certain things that you were spending your money on that wasn't necessary and you start, you know, transferring that money that you were, like let's say you were spending every single month $50 on nonsense and you cut that out and you set up the automatic transfer from your checking to your savings for $50 every month. Over the next couple of months, you're going to see this wealth starting to build, right? Or you can even, Spirit saying, use that money and put it into like a Roth IRA account or a, uh, some type of investment account. So you really start to build on your prosperity here and your abundance. Because a little can go a long way. Nine of Cups, yes, with this Dreams Coming True card over here as well. So paying attention, listening to your intuition. Um, being ready to act is leading towards your dream. So spirits lining things up this month for you energetically that's leading towards your dreams. The tower under full cauldron, all, all you can handle, abundance overflowing, feeling swamped, know your limits. Yeah. So if you aren't careful with your energy this month, you could have a tower moment and I'm hearing like a burnout situation. So just be really careful with how you're spending your energy and your time and say no when you need to say no. Let go of what is no longer needed. Five of swords going under great potential. No need to worry. Coming soon. Dreams coming true. So this five of swords is a toxic energy. It's abusive relationships. So this is about letting go of the toxic energies in your life that are depleting your energy, that are taking your money, letting go of addictions or habits that are taking your money too. And that's really helping to shift your energy in the right direction to open you up to these dreams that you desire and getting you back into alignment with this energy. Because when you have an energy of saying yes to everyone and everything and you deplete your energy, you have no energy left for yourself to manifest. So that's why spirit wants you to kind of let things go this month and take things off your plate so you have more in your cup for you. And it's leading towards your abundance here with your emotional fulfillment and also, you know, with your financial fulfillment or prosperity. Two of pentacles. Yeah, this is about balancing things. So this is about balancing work. This is about balancing things in your life, multitasking, weighing options here. So it's a month for you to look at, you know, what can you let go of in your finances that is no longer needed to be, you know, like what subscriptions do you have that you can let go of? Just go through your finances, go through your bank statements for the last couple of months, spirit saying, and really look at things like, oh, I don't need that. I don't need that. I can get rid of that. And really make the small sacrifices to let go of things that are not needed so you can really start building on this wealth now, right? It's also about balancing out, you know, your energy and your time and seeing where you would get the most bang for your buck with your energy and your time invested into certain people, situations this month. So, you know, is hanging out with these people going to give you a return on your energy or be good for you or be in your highest and greatest good? In alignment with where you want to go or is it leading to you know abusive energy over here where you're depleting your energy two of cups ooh, lovers card here it could also be like financial um, partnership as well so if some of you are you know thinking about starting a business or collaborating with somebody this is an energy of that 
but I do feel that there's an energy coming through of you wishing about having a partner coming in and so that is coming true but it's about getting ready for that right so spirit wants you to set up your finances spirit wants you to get your energy on track and like weed some things out pull some things out of your garden pull the weeds out of your garden that don't you know don't need to be there so your energy and your time is like open for this new partner to come in or this uh you have enough space in your energy you have enough space in your schedule to allow this new energy or collaboration to take place, right? Yeah, the tower with the chariot here, all you can handle, overflowing, feeling swamped. So it's about moving away from this heaviness, moving away from things that are taking too much on your, uh, taking too much of your energy or time, maybe things that are taking your finances. So it's about moving into a new direction here. This is also about starting a new relationship, you know, with this lover's card here but it's about big changes, right? You're making big changes this month that's leading into more abundance and love here. And we have the Hermit card going under Five of Swords. So bright future, great potential, no need to worry coming soon. So this is about kind of getting back to yourself, giving back to yourself. The Hermit card is also about spiritual enlightenment, right? Seeing things from a different perspective and having clarity by going within and finding personal truth from your higher self and being spiritually illuminated on what you need to let go of, what things need to shift or change in your life. All right, let's get one final oracle card here for you guys. Leo, October. Okay, well, that card stayed down, so we're going to pull it. Mural, be your own first priority. Exactly. Yeah, so this is about creating a vision board for yourself. This is about really looking to your future and what do you want to build or create in your life? Who's coming or going with you? What needs to get the boot this month? Um, you know, what needs to be let go of? What direction do you need to shift your energy into or move towards? or away from here with this toxic energy of the five of swords, getting back into your abundance here, starting to put you first and build upon your energy and um, giving more to yourself so that you have more energy and time for yourself to manifest in what you truly desire. All right, guys, I'm sending you so much positive energy. I hope that resonated. If it did, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I will see you in another video. Bye.